The North Dakota Game and Fish Department and Michigan State University have collaborated to study a small member of the weasel family in the Turtle Mountains, the American Martin. Turtle Mountain Provincial Park on the Canadian side of the border reintroduced or introduced Martin to their forests back in the late 80s, early 90s. And so that's why Martin are on our side of the border as well. They've inhabited this entire ecoregion here. There is a regulated trapping season of Martin on the Canadian side of the ecoregion. We're interested also in exploring whether or not we can have a sustainable harvest season, sustainable trapping season. For Martin, but in order to do that, we need to find out how many there are so that we can regulate that trapping season appropriately and make sure we don't overharvest them. Researchers are using a unique technique to get abundance estimates of American martins. You'll see we're going to set some cubbies that were that are baited, sort of like a trap. There's no uh, part of this cubby that's going to restrain or hold the martin. They just simply are going into these cubbies investigating a bait or a lure and hopefully leaving some hair samples behind in the process. Um, and so we identify individuals using genetic analysis based on that hair um, and then we'll determine how many times they come back and visit those sites after we've marked them the first time. Researchers are also monitoring with trail cameras to see how many martins are visiting the cubbies. We want for sure at least two years of data. After that, uh, hopefully we've collected enough individual hair samples to be able to crunch the numbers. The department is also working with the Turtle Mountain Band of Chippewa on this project. They're setting uh, some of the test sites on our tribal properties, which uh, which is good. You know, we like I said, we have a good relationship with North Dakota Game and Fish, and we want to make sure that we have all the same efforts and the same uh, end goal. The results from this project will help the North Dakota Game and Fish Department and the tribe manage this unique fur bear species. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.